Hello YouTube, this is Callum from English Shooting. Now, I posted on the English Shooting Facebook page an article from the Daily Mail about 3D printing guns. Now, yes, we shouldn't take the Daily Mail seriously, but a lot of news outlets picked up on this story again. And I say again because really it's old news. I made a video quite a while ago now, which I will link in the description below, that goes into my views about 3D printing and 3D printing guns. What 3D printing is incredibly powerful for is prototyping and development. And I have a few items here that shows the power of even manufacturing with 3D printers. Now, some of you will know of a company called Tacom. They make a variety of different accessories for a variety of different guns. More, they're more known for their caddies and shell holders, and I actually have a couple myself, and I think they're absolutely fantastic. But they're very sort of 3D modeling, all that sort of area, CAD design, and they make things from scratch on the computer and then have them manufactured. Now, normally you would have, I think the, uh, the caddies are actually milled out of plastic using a CNC milling machine, but they also use 3D printing. And these are a few examples that they have given away for free. So you can go on the Tacom website, download these files and print them for yourself. Many of you will be aware of the uh, match savers that I've got on my Beretta 1301, which basically holds one single shell uh, by the ejection port that if you run it dry, you can just flick another one in and proceed without wasting too much time. These took, I think it was about maybe an, an hour to print for that one, maybe an hour and a half, two hours for this, but they cost pennies. The amount of material used to print these two things, it was about maybe a pound's worth, if that. And I've got myself a match saver or a last round holder that I actually paid about 20, 25 pound for. Not this one specifically, it was the match savers, but still I could have printed this off for, for a pound and, and had myself a match saver. You can see here that I've nearly managed to destroy now, is I've also got a caddy. Now these sorts of caddies are very, very popular. I actually have one that's a little bit different. It's the dueling or double juices one, but this is more traditional. This is what I think you see a lot more of, where you just you know, slide it out from a, from the caddy and load them singly underneath the gun. Uh, so this, again, is completely 3D printed. The thing that's missing from this is a, a tech lock back. So on my, on my caddies at the moment, I have a tech lock which is used to clip onto your belt. Basically, you screw this onto a tech lock and you've got yourself a caddy. Now these alone, normally, yes, they're in aluminium when you buy them off, off the shelf, basically, but they're about 40 pound. 30, 35, 40 pound. These cost me, again, a couple of pound to print off. And yes, a tech lock cost an extra tenner, but you'd have to buy that for the, for the properly manufactured ones anyway. And people say that, oh, it's plastic, it's weak. You cannot bend this. It is solid. And this is only a 20 or 25% fill. So really it's got a honeycomb structure inside. It's not solid and you cannot move it. You could chuck that around all day, you're not gonna have any issues at all. The last little goodie that I've got here is actually a MagTube clamp. So the reason I don't actually have this on my Bretta 1301 is because I have a Bretta tube on it and not a Nordic, and it doesn't fit. However, I've got the model of this now, I downloaded it, so what I'm gonna get round to doing is basically opening out this hole so that it fits on my Beretta. And I can do that. Yes, you know, Tacom can say, oh, you know, copyright, 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 but they're giving out these designs. That's what they want you to do with it. And a little bit of modification to open that hole up so that it fits on a Beretta, they're not gonna have an, an issue with that because they've already given you the design free of charge. They don't want anything for it. Another addition on here, you can see that it's actually 3D printed a pretty much perfect Picatinny rail. I don't have it to hand, but I can actually put my flashlight on there and it locks and holds as solid as, as it does on my Smith & Wesson 1522. So this is, for me, what 3D printing is about. It's about making little one-offs, it's about development, it's about progression. What 3D printing allows you to do is develop products for an absolute fraction of the cost and it allows you to print a design, see it, 
identify an issue and print another one in a couple of hours. To put it into perspective, to have something like this milled, to go to a CNC machinist and have them mill it, you're talking 30, 40 quid in small quantities there. And then you have tooling charges on top of that and you know, it gets very, very expensive. I think even if you were to buy it in bulk, you're, you're not gonna get it down if you were to go to a, an independent uh, CNC machinist, you're not gonna get it below sort of 20 quid. And that's bulk prices. Tacom can obviously do it a little bit cheaper because they're doing it themselves. They have the tools, they're buying the materials themselves and they don't actually have to make money on the machining as such. But for anybody else, it's impractical to develop a product. With 3D printing, you can make a design in a couple of days, print it off, identify an issue and print it off again for a couple of pounds. And 3D printing is getting cheaper and cheaper. You know, you can pick up an Ultimaker 2, which is what I used to print all of these um, off and these were first time prints and you can see they're pretty much perfect um, off the bat. So an Ultimaker 2 you can pick up for about £1,500. Yes, that's still a chunk of money, but really when you factor in all the things you can print with it, the money you can save and if you were going to develop a product, you know, that in itself is invaluable. £1,500 you could spend that just getting one batch of prototypes made without any issue by a CNC machinist. So for me, that's the power. This is the positive side of 3D printing. It allows people with really relatively little money to start up a company, make their own products and push them out into the market. And for me, that is absolutely fantastic. So again, props to Tacom. I'll put the link in the description below. You can go and check out the, the stuff that they sell on their website. And you can also go and check out the designs if you have access to a 3D printer. But yeah, real props to them for making these available. I personally really, really appreciate that. And I'm sure many other people do as well. So there you go. I hope that was a little interesting video for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please go and check out the Tacom website. As always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.